Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Shapeshifters Marcelo to review. This card looks really good, to be fair. Looks really, really nice in multiple areas of it. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is five foot nine, high low work rates, left footed, five star skills, five star weak foot. So obviously with him being in the striker position, we got to try him out in that area because uh, he looks pretty saucy. Uh, in game player traits, he has flare traits, long passer, outside foot shot, and team player traits, right? So a couple things here and there. Very nice, by the way, is to have the outside foot shot trait because even if you don't go for the actual animation of the outside foot shot, just shooting it across goal works out wonders, I'm telling you guys. In-game attributes. The card has very, very good stats in multiple areas of the card. Here's the thing, guys, okay, with this Marcelo card, because he's super expensive. Uh, it's interesting because it's definitely a card that people are going to have to pack ma mainly, obviously, because he's super, super expensive. But you can kind of tell that him being, being moved into the striker position is more for fun. You know, you use him in that area is going to be pretty sick because his stats look amazing. But it's going to be the same thing as his card before. You use a card like this in a three midfield, or not three mid, uh, midfield setup, a three back formation playing in that left mid area or the right mid area, that's going to be the main positions for this bad boy. But the fact that he has defensive and physical stats for a card that totally could be used in the striker position looks very interesting. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving him the Hawk Chemistry Cell. The Hawk Chemistry Cell is going to give him perfect pace. His shooting is basically going to be perfect with a five-star weak foot. Passing, absolutely incredible for base card stats, while you're also boosting the physical stuff of the card. Now, don't get me wrong. You could totally use the Anchor Chemistry Cell on this bad boy, uh, and it would also be a very good choice if you really want to focus on him being a better defensive player because his shooting stats, to be fair, is still in a very good area. But always take into consideration how a card is formatted for stats with the work rates and stuff too. Because guys, he has a unique body type. You know, he's high low work rates while being shorter at five foot nine. So cards like this, they're gonna get involved in the attack. And to be fair, if you take a look at his shooting capabilities and defensive capabilities playing in those areas, it's fantastic, right? A card like this, you could totally use in pretty much any of the attacking slash midfield positions, but I really feel like he's gonna be used the same way I used him before, for sure. But Hawk Chemistry Cell will be boosting a lot of areas of the card. Very nice uh, for what he's looking like. Uh, passing on this bad boy is, again, very, very good. Dribbling, very, very good with the five foot nine height, unique body type. And then base card stats for defense, to be honest, for the play style that you're gonna be working with when it comes to Marcelo, is very good too. So with Marcelo in game, guys, we're going to be using him in the striker position. Uh, custom tactics will be using mainly the 4-1-2-1-2, playing in that uh, left striker, right striker position. And then we're also going to be trying him out in the 3-5-2 formation, playing him in the left mid area, pushing forward and coming back to test out a few things here and there. So yeah, we'll see how the card performs in game. Hopefully he is a beast. Okay, so those types of things I like to test out. You know, when I do that skill move, I like to see when he registers like the left stick right afterwards, you know? That type of stuff is pretty important. Ooh, Marcelo on the weak foot. Okay, okay. I see you, my boy. You already started make the, making that run. I should have done a, a bounce through ball there instead. Would have made more sense. Why not? See if you actually win the ball in the air, eh? Sometimes the uh, transition of the attacker is a little bit better, so I have to test. Okay. I really want to try like a first time strike at an angle there. Those are not high percentage in FIFA, so. Oh! Oh my goodness, what did I just see? What did I just see, bro? What was that? <laughs> Dude, that animation for the flick back, that was kind of sick.
Oh, that was actually a really good finesse shot with his weak foot. Good stuff. Oh, I didn't green it. Dang it, man. Oh, dude, I thought that that touch was him. I was like, guys, don't ever buy this card in your life. <laughs> it's because he's offside, so they do that touch thing sometimes. I mean, that's Van Dyke, so yeah, you guys know the vibes of that. <laughs> you know the vibes of those ones. You know what's really funny about like the whole shapeshifters promo is that the position changes are there, the boosts are there, but you use most of these cards in their original position, like how you would normally use them from the versions before. Like this Marcelo card, I can feel like I'd want to use him as a person in a two midfield setup, three midfield setup, mainly as a left mid, you know, but can be played as a striker and play it well, to be fair. Like his movement so far has been fantastic. No, obviously having the five-star skills. Like, I'm here. I go here. There he is. See? See if I can get this goal here, actually. Oh. He has the outside foot shot trade, so. Oh, my goodness, Verge. You got to relax, my boy. Oh, let's go. That shot cancel, man. That shot cancel. You see how he kind of has like, like that physical thing to him, though? That's what's going to make him really nice in the midfield for sure. On a red! On a red! See, really good runs, man. Really good runs. Oh, the leg save. You see that outside foot shot? No, that was so random. Give me the free kick. Yes. Where is he at? Where is he at? Okay. Right there. Bang. Bang. Oh, he hit the crossbar. No. Dude, why does he keep hitting bar D's? Relax. What is this, like, programmed into the game for him to do bar D's when he hits them? Look, at all, all these are bar D's, bro. Chill. Oh, look at that defensive pressure. Let's go. And the attack, too, eh? Oh, that was crisp. Crispy finesse shot. On a white, too. If that's a green, I might score that. Oh, I'll try the white time again. Oh. Oh, it's got to be a pen. There's no way you guys don't have any falling animation in this game. Wow, with his weak foot. That's crazy. And he scores a header. Cool. Beauty. Oh, nice header. Around the world, around the world. 
Okay, so now that we have that sorted, really good at Striker, to be honest with you. He's actually sick up there. Uh, we're going to do Isco, Marcelo, and Kunku. Eh, we'll put Guerrero as a CDM for now. Try out Marcelo in that center mid, get into the box with a cross kind of thing. Test still some defensive stuff. Okay. I tried to time it, I just I couldn't get it off, but it was a great finish still. Yeah, so that area there, I wanted to see what his defensive stuff would be like. It didn't go into the middle that much. The way I liked using Marcelo before, guys, was like, okay, like mainly as the left back, um, as a left mid in a three back. Those were like the um, main areas for the card. Nice, good stuff. Yo, he's gotten really nice shots on him. Like, that's that's amazing for that distance coming off of that drag. Oof, not bad. Little dagger of a touch, nice. Pass it off again. It's really funny. I feel like if I play play him in those like mainly defensive areas, I'd probably have to take off the hawk and give him like the extra boost here and there. Because this card, man, I'm telling you, it's it's literally the same thing as like the foot captain's card. Like if this if this card would be in my team now, obviously with the variable of him being a striker, I would actually use him there to be honest with you. But that left mid position for a three back like that's that's the main area for sure you could feel it with the way that his body type works um the way that he you know is more uh, he just feels more attacking than defensive you know but offers defense which is the important thing oh my goodness yeah that attacking presence is just kind of nuts like, that's a really good finesse shot to hit. That defensive presence, you'll notice it more if it's in the side position. Like, that's just kind of how it works with him. See, like, left mid position, look at how fast he's already doing this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's already back in that area. No problem. We're good. You, you could tell it's just it's just a position change, but they just belong in those areas still. Look, let go of him. Look at him. See the top? Just marking the area well. Constantly, constantly, constantly. I'm gonna switch to this guy right here. Look, I'm gonna let go of him. I shouldn't be letting go, obviously, but you know what I'm saying. It's not to say that you can't use him in other areas, like the midfield setup. Like, you definitely can, but it's like I said, like, when I when I use cards in FIFA, I like to use them where I feel like they belong mostly. Like, if I were to use, like, a flashback Benzema in the left mid position, like, it's not it, you know? Le Grand switch. That was actually interesting. Like, he's already back there. Now we're good. Go backwards. Legron switch downwards. Eesh. Now we're good, bro. I lose possession of the ball on purpose just to see what's up. Still amazing. Oral scoop back on the inside. Oral scoop again. Oh, didn't get that one off. Oh, that outside foot shot tray. You got to try those bad boys, man. Got to try those. It's pretty sick that he made an inwards run there in that left mid position. Look, I'm not using him, right? Just gonna use these guys here normally. He's already going back into position. Like if it, if Schmelzer doesn't register to that, I'm good. Look, I second man press, let go of him. He's already tracking back like crazy. Look at him. I mean, he's nowhere. He's nowhere near. But he's already back in that left wing position, left wing back position. Okay, let go of him again. I'll go here, right? Center back area. 
Let's just block this normally. Oh, Guerrero's gonna occupy his position, so that's when he's gonna switch with him, right? Like that real quick. Keep it going. Look at how fast he's going back. Look at that. Look at how quick that is. L trigger defending. Let's go back. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Marcelo card. So, yeah, you know what's funny is that he definitely exists for you to pack him. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those types of situations because a lot of people really wanted his uh, end of an era card because if they made a card like this as an end of an era, as an SPC, like even if it was like, honestly, 2 million coins as an SPC, it would have been a sick card to get because SPCs are different, right? Like as they release fodder, you can put the fodder into your SPCs and lowers the price quite significantly. And it's a card that is going to last for the entirety of the year. So in that way, it's definitely very disappointing. The end of an era stuff would have been very cool. But as a YouTuber, at least I could try them out. <laughs> one of those things, hey eh, guys, one of those things. But yeah, it would have been sick of you as an SBC. But guys, uh, in regards to how this card performs in game, it's kind of the same, not in regards to quality, but I'm saying like in the way that you play this card, you mainly play him in the left mid area. But this card, this card can 100% play at striker. Very good attacking AI, finishes great on both feet, right? Like when it was his weak foot, when it was a strong foot, it genuinely didn't matter, right? Um, the five-star weak foot came off great for a lot of shooting opportunities, very direct and crisp. Uh, his finesse shots, even though he doesn't have the traits, doesn't matter with the perfect shooting stats, he hits them really well. I guess because of the unique body type while being five foot nine, not really sure, but you can see that he hits them in a crisp way, right? Even just the white time shots, came off really really nice so uh definitely a full meta card by the looks of it uh you can either use a hawk or an anchor on him i think for the way that people would use him like if they were to have access to every single player yes you could definitely use him as a striker very good player there but it's mostly that left mid area and a three back you could totally use him in a three midfield setup but he'll be his he'll be your more attacking oriented center mid but I'm telling you guys, the way that this card feels in game, he just belongs in that left-sided area, like mostly. Left-sided or because of how good his shooting is and the fact that he has the five-star weak foot, that right side is kind of nasty too, right? Because there's so many different links you can work with when it comes to Marcelo and your squad. Those Real Madrid links, there's a whole lot of things you can do. But unfortunately, it is, it is one of those types of guys that uh, you're going to have to pack because... Ain't nobody in this game worth 6.2 mil, unless it's Messi. Messi's card is kind of crazy. How much does that bad boy cost nowadays? Let's see. Messi. Messi is 7.1 mil, so I, I sold him for a good amount. Yeah, this card's, like, disgusting. But for the position that you're going to be playing Marcelo in, it's one of those types of things, right? Saucy, saucy card, though. Really enjoyed using him. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.